Victoria 3, the only game where money are more important than human rights. That's why today we're playing a Shiwa, which sounds like a shampoo that tastes like mint. But it's not. It's the best Oriental Orthodox Christian country in the entire game. And we are ruled by our prince, Sahel Selassie Solomon. And he managed to achieve all-time highs on literacy rate and standard of living. It makes sense. Look at those laws. They're pretty isolationist, closed, enslaving, if you will. By using them as a base, we can make those numbers go even higher with a professional army and of course we can utilize never seen before technologies just look at them i have no idea what road maintenance does but i feel like i can't live without it in the meantime we can teach some peasants how to read and increase the agricultural production by using ethical methods Probably. And now it's time for my favorite foreign policy. Zerg the neighbors. You know, like this. They'll never see it coming. I mean, we'll never see it either because our army is completely made of shirtless swordsmen. The best type of swordsmen. And we have a professional army. Which means we can focus on appointed bureaucrats. I just love pointing at bureaucrats. Unethical expansion complete. Let's continue to the west. And we get a two for one deal. How lucky. We have a new prince. Teodros Solomon. Do not ask him what he did with the previous prince it is unethical to ask such questions balls we're not gonna have appointed bureaucrats we managed to defeat our enemies that we created might as well make more enemies you know what acting like an absolute savage might sound a little bit bad but remember we have to press the advantage before the economic crisis arrives oh my god the economic crisis arrived don't worry about it guys because now we can form ethiopia and we completed so Solomon's quest. I know it's a different flag, but I hope he leveled up because we're gonna need the money. Now I know you guys are looking at the economy and you're ready to say things like, there's no way we can get out of this. But there's an easy solution. Zerg the neighbors. They'll never see it coming. I mean, they expect us to be in financial ruin, which we are. But with the power of surprise attack, setting your decrees to the newly conquered territories, appointed bureaucrats, this time for real, and the almighty two for one deal, we'll get out of this mess without a problem. Now of course, let's not forget the most important thing about Ethiopia, having access to the sea. I mean, come on, what kind of an idiot plays Ethiopia and doesn't have access to the sea? Wait a minute, Ausa is still alive? Whoops. Hang in there, guys. I'll finish you off as soon as I can. It's the ethical thing to do. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to fix our bureaucracy problems. So we can't expand anymore. If we want to fix our financial situation, we have to resort to extortion. Come on, child, give me your lunch money. And of course, we're going to have tenant farmers. Everyone agrees. It's practically guaranteed to pass. This will allow us to expand our extortion schemes. Listen, guys, I'm just here for your money. Just give me all of them. Resistance is futile. We are far more powerful than... Wait a minute. The British are here. That's not good. I have to raise your payments. And look at that. We're almost making money. Almost. Uh oh. A legislative failure, you smelly landlords. Alright, fine. Let's get appointed bureaucrats. Legislative failure. We haven't even started yet. It just dropped to 0%. Miserable ass parasites. I'm going to lower your slavery for that. Oh my god, we fixed the bureaucracy and we're actually making money. I wish to dedicate this financial victory to my parents who taught me how to bully others and steal their lunch money. And of course, the parents of all my tributary states who keep giving them money for me to take. Thank you. Ethiopian British Association? Oh come on intelligentsia, what do the British have that I don't have except for the financial stability? Boom boom sticks. Multitude of extremely powerful colonies. 10 times our GDP, international recognition and respect. If you take that away, they got nothing. And it's time for us to finish Ausa by dumping 78 battalions on top of their two. The honorable thing to do. With legacy slavery, we have severely limited the landowners, which means we we can get tenant farmers, this time for real. The British are offering me to pay off my debts, 2.99 million Ethiopian beer. Give me a moment, Britain. I need to max out my credit card first. All right, every single industry now belongs to the state and it will cost the British 3.55 million Ethiopian beer. I'll take it. Legislative failure? What happened? It just dropped to zero. I guess you guys can tell I'm kind of incompetent. So we're gonna have to enact censorship. 
so you can shut up about it. The British are offering a defensive pack. To be honest, I did know this that Tripoluputania is pink, so I'm gonna have to accept. Oh, don't mind me, just raising the rent. Finally, we can control the flow of information, which means we can go for homesteading. No one tell the landowners. Oh, come on, it's almost as if they're part of the government or something. Oh, they were too slow. Finally, homesteading, which means we can now expand our extortion scheme into Arabia. Oh, no, wait, we needed boats for that. Well, it's not my fault. Homesteading, boats, same thing, really. We should probably get agrarianism. Finally, our first boat. I named the homesteading, my favorite ship. And it brings us a tributary and war reparations. Oh, what's this? You want your own market? Sure, but you're gonna have to pay for that. And after that, you have to pay a little bit more. What? We need a lot of money to maintain homesteading, the boat. All right, Maharasta, being so selfish and pay up. Do you have any idea how much money it takes to maintain a boat? Neither do I. But that's not gonna stop me from taking your money. Same goes for you, Quasimid State. Even though the British gave me a boatload of cash, I can still feel the specter of economic crisis breathing down my neck. Come on, Najet, I need 1k. You can help me with that, right? They backed down. Thank you, Najet. Now open up your pockets. Admittedly, that didn't solve our financial situation, which means we have to take some wealth directly from my subjects. That's just economics 101. What is this, Egypt? You gonna shank me or something? You want Geledi? Come and get him. Okay, guys, I don't wanna alarm you, but I feel like the Egyptians are attempting to zerg us. I don't know if you know this, but we don't have any of those. We just have shirtless swordsmen. Which means I have no choice, I have to go in the British. Oh yeah, they're split on two fronts, there's no way we can lose. Okay, we're kind of losing, but that's because the British haven't arrived yet. They're going to arrive any minute now. Come on! Oh, we're saved, the Ottomans are attacking them from the other side. Remember kids, it doesn't matter if the British capitulate, Egypt can't take it from all sides. Balls, we are now going to expand our core territory and take control of Hejaz. Truly a victory for the history books. We should probably invent history books. Oh no, all the countries I've been oppressing are rising up against me with zero divisions. This leaves me no choice than to increase my oppression. Yeah, write that down in the history books. And do not mention anything about unarmed protesters. That will make me look bad. It is time for frontline colonization to expand the nation. The Ottomans are attacking the Egyptians again. You guys should have called. I have to nationalize. Eight buildings from Egypt. 5.9% of GDP. Jesus. No wonder we have another financial crisis on our hands. All right, it's time for us to settle. Jesus. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of time. Yet another heroic victory against Egypt for the history books. We should probably stop being isolationist and try some mercantilism. Oh my god, the British are speedrunning colonization. Are they on drugs or something? A revolution to ban slavery. We're not going to have a massive civil war which will cost hundreds of thousands of lives. What is this? America? In order for us to ban slavery, we just have to sacrifice one life. And just like that, slavery is banned. And we are also a theocracy. Legislative failure. Give me a minute, I need to sort out the government first. We are now ruled by our patriarch, Ras Mengesha. Where were we? Oh yes, protectionism. Definitely my first choice. Now it's time for Darfur, which sounds like a laundry detergent, but it's not. It's the target for our next conquest. Hey, move out of the way, Geledi. You're not the main character of conquest this time. Finally, we have an open market and we can sell sugar, dyes and everything nice, like coffee, all produced in an ethical way, probably. Oh yeah, look at those numbers go up. Woo! Alright, I think it's time for us to start our new colonies in Brittany. The Portuguese are trying to stop us, but they'll never manage. Oh my god, the British are breaking the French kneecaps. Hello, Brittany, can I introduce you to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Move out of the way, Portugal, you'll never stop Christianity from spreading in Europe. Listen, guys, you know me, I respect traditions, but I feel like it's time to industrialize a little bit. A revolution for the monarchy, that's a bit random, but I'll stab them, it's tradition. As we're doing that, we are also gonna have to stab some Britney people. Again, smelly colonials, I always had the feeling we're giving you too much rights. 
We're also going to help the British in India for an obligation. The best defensive treaty in the entire game. With the civil war fixed, we can continue to colonize. I mean, we have just one tile in this entire province. The only place in the entire country we can get coal. Remember kids, be naughty. Santa Claus is our primary source of coal. Finally, we can put the coal to good use. We just have to buy it first. Come on peasants, give me your lunch money. Have you seen the coal prices around here? With India fixed, we can finally look to the west. Oh god, maybe we shouldn't have. I absolutely can't believe this unprecedented aggressive expansionism, Haiti. How dare you expand outside your miserable island. Unacceptable. Finally, Ethiopian Guyana, my favorite Ethiopian colony after Brittany and the single coal province. Finally, Geledi, the main target of conquest. They backed down. And now a good example on how not to ban slavery. Yep, that's a good example how not to do it. And it's time for us to take over Kathiri. They agreed. I dubbed the homesteading land after homesteading the boat. My favorite boat. And finally we can request an embassy from Britain. They reject it. I guess we have to start our own faction. I really need a name which will clearly telegraph our immense financial prowess. Hopefully then people will stop acting as if we are some sort of extortion enterprise. I know. Africa Finance Corporation. Look at this Africa inspired emblem. And of course a very African inspired statue with two shovels so you know what happens to you if you fail to pay up civilized world here i come oh what a disgusting color give me a moment much better per capita taxation what a great deal let's point at the bureaucrats this time for real and in case anyone's wondering no we're not the weakest power block that honor goes to the italians who are in a military alliance with themselves i mean the french don't look all that amazing neither do the americans but we're not the weakest the Americans started a diplomatic play against us. There was no envelope or anything. You'll never get my Guyana, smelly Americans. Luckily for us, the British are guaranteeing our independence. What happened to Victoria? And also, American Civil War 2, Electric Boogaloo. And definitely worst of all, Ontario. What is this? And why do I like it more than Canada? Finally, it's time for us to claim our rightful colony of Norway. Unfortunately, we now have Lesser Ontario. Luckily for us, no one lives in Norway. Give me a moment, Lesser Ontario. I'll be there in no time. Finally, we can point at bureaucrats. Hey guys, do you remember the Jim Crow laws? Now get ready for Bob Sheep laws. The French are gonna love it. And now the liberation of Ontario can begin. Wait, they're starting to capitulate already. Alright, America, pay up. Norway, it's time for us to lower your autonomy. You have too much of it. What is this? France you're gonna shank me or something? You want Brittany? No way, that's my favorite colony. After that one coal province. There's so much coal there. France backs down. Good, they're giving me extortion money. But also bad. I want it. Oh man. The British are just too scary. Norway backs down. Look at that flag. Which means we just have to wrap up the Ottoman civil war. Friendly Ottoman regime established. Oh no, we're losing our obligation with the British. I guess I have to spend it on a defensive pact. Legislative failure? Oh come on, I just wanted us to be racist. Simple addition. This really complicates things. I have no choice, we have to diversify the distribution of power with an oligarchy. Money is all you need to succeed. The poor can eat a little bit. Alright guys, can you imagine? You fought in the civil war against all odds and defend your rights to own black people. And all of a sudden some random African guy demands you give half your country to all the black people. What do you do? Oh, they accept it. Hilarious. America fixed. I mean, it's no Ontario. But New Africa sounds good. With nothing left to gain in America, we have to expand in chat oh my god the british are helping them move faster you idiots they're coming through the desert we have more borders with them my convoys are gone move faster damn it they capitulated damn i mean let's not kid ourselves we completely mopped the floor with the british we're so good at zerging people we should definitely ask for an embassy again they accepted see that kids zerging your neighbors is an acceptable diplomatic strategy let's continue zerging the other neighbors oh they accepted our
our demands. On to the next one. We have poor laws. All right, now that's a big chat jaw, if I've ever seen one. Now we're going to help Portugal because they agree to become our newest colony. You know what? Managing my colonies reminded me of an ancient story from the British where King Arthur gets to have a round table, where all the knights of the realm get to have an equal vote. That really inspired me. So we're going to have a parliament where all of the oligarchs get to have an equal vote. And also let's make sure that the British don't suddenly decide to liberate Portugal. Wait a minute, the British are offering me to pay my debts? I mean, I already own them an obligation for the alliance and I'm only 4 million Ethiopian beer in debt. Give me a moment, Britain. Credit card maximized. Alright, Britain, I accept your 17 million Ethiopian beer. And of course, now the government has a lot of profitable industries to sell. Oh yeah, look at the money flowing in. The investment pool has 4.6 million. We're completely maxed out and the investment pool still has 4 million. I actually can't spend the money. Hilarious. And that's the type of returns you can expect if you join the Africa Finance Corporation. Definitely a legitimate business and not a Ponzi scheme. Britain is having a massive civil war. I'll help you, Britain. Give me money. I mean, I'm gonna have to pay the investors back at some point. I think. I'm not actually sure how businesses work. Which means I have to annex the Quasimid state just in case. Britain secure. All thanks to me. Trust me, guys, I would never lie to you. My country spreads from South Ethiopia all the way to Norway. Isn't that right, Norway? Norway says yes. Oh my god, they're starving. How did that happen? Jesus. It's almost as if I can't manage my subjects properly. Wait, my neighbor, Sweden, is embarking on a meaningless conflict. I'm going to help you, Sweden, for money. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Mercenary work is our main form of income. At this point, brave Ethiopian soldiers into Denmark. Denmark split into a civil war and now the Prussians are joining them. Another successful campaign for the Ethiopian mercenaries. The British are going to war with the Chinese and they want Korea. I'll help you Britain for money. Chinese money. The French joined the Chinese. Oh no, they're going to take... B oh, they don't want Brittany. Well, alright then, I don't care. Alright, now we're going to quickly knock out France out of the war and then deal with Persia, which will clear the way to China. Easy peasy. Easy World War 1. Oh no, what is this surprise attack in chat? Come on, Britain, send more troops here. I can't hold them back. Did the British just leave the front line? They're tearing us to pieces. Oh, never mind. Yet another successful Ethiopian campaign. Oh yeah, look at all that Ethiopian work. Oman capitulated. Wait, they belong to the Belgians now. When did that happen? China capitulates and the British got Korea. But more importantly, we got pay. Oh yeah, look at all those extortion money. I mean, some of them are legal payments, but most of them are extortion money. And the the war with Persia is done. Jesus Christ Britain, what are these disgusting borders? Hey wait a minute, our patriarch Ras Mengesha is having a secret affair with a member of the clergy. What do you guys think we should do? Wait, what do you mean? Ignore it. Oops. Anyway, we now have a new patriarch, Haley Kualu. And now it's time for everyone's favorite, Civil War. Don't worry, we're the good guys. And the British know it. Yet another victory for the history books. Let's celebrate by taking over Hejaz. And of course maintain our possessions in Portugal. Finally, a parliament. A place where all the oligarchs have an equal vote. Let us celebrate this incredibly liberal achievement by allowing women to be exploited as labor. Welcome Hejaz to the liberal world. With the women in the workforce we can now focus on Bob sheep laws again. Britain is having a communist revolution. Remember guys, Ethiopian mercenaries are a subscription service. Finally, classic racism. With the British donations secured, it is time for us to embark on the final quest for Ethiopia. That's right, liberate all of Africa from the French. I mean, look at this. My inner Saddam is telling me they're surrounding us. This can't stand. Oh, you want to help Britain? Thanks. I got this. Fear not, African brothers. Normandy shall belong to Ethiopia.
And, and you'll be free, uh, of course. Oh yeah, we're definitely zerging them in France. And we have the upper hand in Africa as well. Africa is completely secured. All we have to do now is push them in France. Hey, where did that 10 attack and defense come from? I have skirmish infantry. They have skirmish infantry. Oh no, they have shredding artillery. And they're shredding us. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Brittany was my favorite Ethiopian colony. Right after the coal province. It's a province with coal. Oh, what more do you want? Oh, what's this? You're offering me a white piece? Let that be a lesson to you, Franz. Don't make me come back. Finally, another heroic victory for the history books. And this is how the great powers spread their influence all over the world. The African Financial Corporation is the best, of course. We have Chad and multitude of subscription contracts which are vital for the extortion economy. And this is how Europe looks like. Don't let the French fool you. They look like they're in a wheelchair, but they can still bite. North America looks jagged and ugly, but it doesn't bite. South America has South Peru and North Peru. And of course, North Peru is way better. And this is Asia. As you can clearly see, the British are mighty and even took over Korea, Indonesia, South Vietnam, but couldn't secure a Australia, classic Britain. But the center of the world is as always Chad, which belongs to Ethiopia. And these are the laws we ended up with, where you get to have an equal vote in the parliament, as long as you're rich and powerful, a man, the proper religion, the right skin color, but everyone can point at bureaucrats. What more do you want? And this is the final score. Remember kids, extortion economy is the best economy. Until next time.